Yo, 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 what is up guys? Nick the Kai here, Let's Drift Media. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. If it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button down below. Notice a lot of you guys aren't subscribed who watch my videos. It only takes a couple seconds, so I really appreciate it. Really helps the YouTube algorithm and helps my videos get out there, so. Really appreciate that, guys. But anyways, um, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today's episode, we're gonna be doing another tour review on the Milwaukee 3.8 right angle impact gun, or impact driver is what they call it. So I picked this up uh, about a month or two ago and really wanted to try it out. It's kind of a weird thing because it's like, obviously a right angle, like it looks like a ratchet, but it's not a ratchet, it's an impact wrench. So it's kind of cool, it's pretty powerful. Um, really just want to, guys, want to show you guys the torque potential on it and yeah, just talk about it. Sorry if it's a little bit loud and sorry if we get some mic static. I've been having problems lately with my mic. I'm not too sure if it's the microphone itself or the wire to it or the port to the camera. So that's been kind of annoying, but yeah, apologize for any background noise. But anyways, here we have it, the right angle impact gun or impact wrench is what they call it. Got the trigger right here, got the standard Milwaukee style push, reverse, forward, neutral, so you can't do anything. Uses the M12 batteries, just like the rest of most Milwaukee tools. So we got the four amp battery in here. It's rated at 220 foot pounds of nut busting torque. And we're gonna find out if that's true or not. Although this is a 3 8 drive, I believe the half inch probably transmits a little bit more torque, but they still rate it at 220. Has the four modes speed control which is kind of nice for when you don't want to over torque a bolt. Yeah, they're probably familiar with this if you own any Milwaukee tools. Same battery level gauge. And yeah, uh, max speed I believe is 3000 RPM, so it's pretty fast. And weighs about 2.8 pounds without the battery. So yeah, that's the tool. Like I said, it's a really cool tool. The only thing, I feel like the weight distribution is a little bit off. You have the handle down at the bottom with the trigger, so that's where you're holding it. The top is where the weight of this whole tool is at. So like a lot of the times if you're holding it, it's just very, I just want to say awkward. So I have been using this tool for quite, or for a couple weeks now, as you guys know. And it is really nice, but the only thing that strikes to me is when am I gonna use it? Like I have to really like be like, oh, I have that tool to go and try and use it. But most jobs you're doing, I feel like working on cars, at least here at Toyota, you have decent room. So there's never really a time where you need a tool this size to fit into impact. I found a lot of times uh, wherever this tool would fit, cause it still is pretty big, I would just end up using my regular 3 8 impact gun. So it was kind of hard to find times when I actually needed this. So that's why I say I'm not too sure if it's worth it for as far as working in the automotive industry. Maybe if you're in a different industry, like I don't even know what you would be using this for, but I feel like it could be of some use. But in my opinion, being in the automotive industry, it's a tool that you won't really be using. But it is still a cool tool nonetheless. Packs a lot of power and it's just very unique. So it looks like a ratchet, but it's an impact. That's why I bought it and wanted to try it out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the torque test. Woo! Let's torque some stuff, brother! <laughs> so, all right, so first I'm just gonna torque these lug nuts to 80 foot pounds, see if the gun could take it off. All right, so we're about 83 foot-pounds across the board. Let's see if the Milwaukee is strong enough. No problem. So around 80 foot pounds is definitely no problem for this little guy. I mean, still you can see it's just kind of weird trying to use this on lug nuts. So ideally I don't think you would be using it on lug nuts, but anyways, we're gonna bump it up to about 100 foot pounds on these 17s right here and see if it could break it away. So you guys remember in the last video we had a little slip and fall with our boy Alex Chaparro. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
So I uh, went ahead and modified my torquing station a little bit. I got these giant bolts from Home Depot and these can withstand over 250 foot pounds no problem. So that's going to be really nice for when we have the bigger guns testing out. And then we have over here the same setup before. We're not super high torque. All right, about a hundred across the board. Let's see. All right, so a hundred's no problem. Let's go ahead and bump it up to 120. All right, so we're at 120 across the board. Let's see. All right, so 120, you can see it struggled a little bit, but it still was able to take it off. Uh, since this gun is rated at 220, I'm gonna go ahead and just bump it up to about 160, just speed this process up a little bit and see if it can take it off. All right, here we go. All right, so 160, got it off, which is pretty impressive, pretty powerful, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to torque these to any really higher than that because they're already starting to strip. I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the big boys, but the only thing with this, I don't have a 3 8 drive 28 that's gonna fit for this. I only have the half inch, so I'm going to be using a 3 8 to half inch adapter. So again, this uh, will take away some torque, but I mean, if the gun's rated at 220, I'm gonna just torque these to 200 foot-pounds, and I feel like it should still be able to break those away even though it has the adapter, but just keep that in mind, it has this little adapter, so it's gonna lose a little bit of torque during the process. We got the torque wrench set at 200 foot-pounds. Let's get torquing. Let's torque some stuff, brother! So I was able to get them all around 200. One of them went to like 217, but we're just gonna see if it'll take it off with this little adapter on, so let's see. Wow. Oh. All right, well that took off 200 like nothing. I'm actually really impressed because it took these off at 200 a lot easier than these at 160 foot pounds. So I'm wondering maybe having the weight of this fat socket is helping it, but I'm gonna just go to 220 and see if it'll still break it off. Uh, about 220, some went to 230. Two thirty. All right, well, Milwaukee.
Milwaukee proved the test at does have about 220 foot pounds of breakaway torque. So just out of curiosity, I'm gonna just max these out to 250, 260 and see if it's still able to break it loose. All right, well, pretty much they all got torqued to over 250. Some were already torqued to 268 just by impacting them on with this. So let's see. Wow. All right, well that's actually really impressive. I was able to take off 250 foot pounds, like no problem. So what I'm gonna just do is just crank uh, the hell out of it. My torque wrench only goes up to like 275, I think, before it starts saying over torque. So I'm gonna just hammer on it and see how tight we can get it. And then see if this gun's strong enough to take it off. So we were able to get it to about 311 foot-pounds on the torque wrench before it said over-torqued. Uh, let's see. Back to that one. Well, you guys saw it here, um, 220 foot-pounds breakaway torque uh, for sure, at least if you're using a big socket like this. Um, that's just really impressive. I'm actually quite surprised because I wasn't able to get certain bolts when I was trying it in the field. Like I was trying to take out some transmission bolts and uh, they just weren't breaking loose with this. I was thinking like, oh, it's not that strong, but it could have just been because the socket I had didn't weigh enough. Maybe I was using a chrome socket, so it wasn't transmitting the torque, but you guys saw firsthand here, it was even able to get this last bolt that was well over 311 foot-pounds and it still cracked it off. Obviously, I just had to sit there and hammer on it, but it still got it off. So Milwaukee, good job. But again, like I said, being in the automotive industry, it's kind of just an awkward tool. Like a lot of people pick it up and they're like, what the heck, like it's, it's heavy. It feels top heavy. So something to think about if you are purchasing this tool. Maybe there's other uses for it that I'm not too sure about. But as far as working on cars, I feel like it's not that useful. Uh, anytime I would go to whip out this, you can just pre pretty much fit your impact wrench in anyways. Because it's kind of big. But I mean, besides that, very powerful tool. And would recommend it if you're looking for something similar to this style, I guess, for whatever you're trying to do. Alex, what do you have to say about this? It is impressive, but then again, here, unless you actually have an engine out and you can use it that way, but in tight spaces, not a good idea, but if it's an open, then yeah, go for it. It's got the power. But yeah, that pretty much sums it up for this episode. I mean, if you do have a lot, some use for this, uh, do me a favor and drop a comment what you really like using this tool on. But as far as for me, I don't think I'll be keeping this because I don't have much use for it. But that's it for today's episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the new torque table. Let me know any suggestions, other tools you would like to, uh, to see me test out. So that's it, guys. Have a great, great week. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup I hit the stage and leave with money, that's a sticker She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a 